Okay, so for the next unit, it is the Night Lords, which look pretty interesting. And what I was thinking, it looks like a pretty simple job. Power fist, got some chains wrapped around the waist, got some heads, some cool lightning on the pauldrons. And these look cool. So what I have is, I got this ages ago, but I've never used it. I have this 3mm hobby chain from Green Stuff World. It's maybe a touch big, but I think that'll do for the chain around the waist there. I may do it other places, I don't know. And something that I've never really used, these um, Citadel skulls. So these will come in handy. So yes, Night Lords will be the next kit bash. If you're enjoying this, please do let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see more kit bashes, I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, happy with this Edge of Darkness box set. Okay, let's get cracking. Okay, so that's what I came up with for the Night Lord Mini. Quite happy with that, although yeah, I would like to have cut down the skull and the pauldron a little bit more. But I'm happy with the the chain around his waist and the skulls on there. No way he's looking up like that. So that's that. Uh, for the Blood Angel. Blood Angels, sorry, I just went with your standard, standard one. I am, um, yeah, I'm keeping all the weapon arms separate just so it makes it easier to painting. Okay, so the next one I'll be working on uh, the Iron Hands, I believe. Yes, Iron Hands. So, as you can see, I'm sure I'll have some uh, mechanical arms somewhere, perhaps stuff left over from a Necron sprue. And I'm sure I'll have a spare head somewhere as well. So yes, Iron Hands is the next kit bash. Uh, I think this video is going to be split up into two, so this video will be uh, the kit bashing and video two will be the painting. Okay, let's crack on.
Okay, so that's the iron hands done. The next one is the world eaters. I think this will be another quite a simple conversion kit bash. Uh, just a simple head swap because I have some chaos heads. I think for this one though, I will add a banner on his uh, backpack and using my hobby chain get some good use out of this stuff I'll put it on the on the banner I think so yeah um, I don't need to show you guys assembling the actual body I'll come back when it's time for the head and the backpack okay let's get on with this world eater Okay, so I've finished the World Eater. I'm quite happy with that. And like with all most of the others, um, I'll be keeping the weapons separately just for make it easier to paint later on. The next one will be the Ultramarines, I believe. Let me just check the book. Yes, Ultramarines. Um, probably a pretty straightforward one, apart from yeah, the pauldrons. I'm pretty sure I've got some pauldrons in my bits box, so yes, I'll change one of them with one of my bits box pieces, and that will be the next one. It'll be a very short one. Okay, so the Ultramarine is done. Um, I'm not sure if that's the the right pauldron, <laughs> FYI. But um, yeah, I noticed in the book, this studded one was on the opposite side. So I thought, eh, why not go with it? But yeah, that was just a very simple one. I didn't show it because, yeah, just simple. Okay, so what's next? Death Guard. Okay, cool. Okay, this is another darker one. A simple head swap. Um, possibly have something resembling that that I 3D printed off. Um, yeah, so again, this will be another one that I'll just show the end product and we will go from there. Okay, so that's my Death Guard Mini done up. I um, don't know if you can see, but the um, pauldron has a little arrow on it, as does his helmet, and a little skull on his other pauldron. I noticed in the picture there's a kind of oversized backpack. So in my bits box, I had one of these. So I added that. And this one was just two simple pauldron swaps from my bits box, a head swap and the backpack swap. So yeah, um, the head did have horns on them. All I did was just trim them off sand them down a little bit then remove the lines with my hobby knife and that is the death guard so the next one will be thousand suns okay okay again simple one for this I don't need to make many changes I'll see if I have like a, a head swap okay next thing you'll see is this one complete 
Okay, so there's the thousand suns done. I'll just show you. So that's a 3D printed head, a pauldron from my bits box, and that's it. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying these. These aren't too boring. Most of these kit bashes are very simple. Okay, so the next one. Oh my god, this is such a long video. I do apologize. I hope you make it all the way through. Okay, so. Ooh, Sons of Horus. Okay. Ah, this could be an interesting one. Okay, so. Power Fist. Cool chain axe. I'm pretty sure. I've got a. Yeah, a pistol like that in my bits box. So yeah, this will be a fun one. So, yep, Sons of Horus, next. Okay, so that's that one done. Um, I quite like this. The only thing I'm not particularly proud of is my green stuff sculpted hand. It's uh, pretty bad. But yeah, if you're not looking too closely, you can yeah, tell what it is. Besides, it's not as if you're going to have it up to your face like that. Looks like he's wearing a Oven mate or something. <laughs> oh well, I gave it a go. So yes, that was the um, Sons of Horus. So next are the word bearers. Um, okay. Got plenty of chainsaw arms. In fact, the yeah, they have some chainsaw arms in there. Um, but I do have some pauldrons with writing on I do believe plus I can make a few of these parchments with some more green stuff um, yeah so that is the next one I'll be working on word bearers awesome Okay, so the word bearer is finished. Just added some random. I think this is actually from a, a banner. <laughs> That's that one done. And what do we have next? Salamanders. Okay, again, I think this will be a relatively simple one. Um, I may add a banner to this one. Use some green stuff for the scales. I'm not sure if I'll do it on the pauldron. I might do like a... Like a... Whatever this thing is called. <laughs> yeah, around his waist. So yeah, salamanders coming up next.
Okay, so that's my salamander done. It's a very simple green stuff skirt, I guess. <laughs> and just added a banner onto the backpack from the bits box. Okay, so the next one is Raven Guard. Okay, cool. Okay, another one that'll be a very simple paint job by the looks of it. Okay, so, so I'm going very literal with these um, kit bashes and stuff. So these look like kind of like fast attack, rapid deployment operations. Okay, cool. So yeah, I've got a few of these jump packs in the bits box. A few claw hands left over, some sword hands. Awesome. So yeah, Raven Guard. It's the next one. with his pistol and the you can't really see it but the green stuff molded hair and the jump pack from the bits box it's cool okay I believe the next one is the last one Alpha Legion okay Alpha Legion, okay. What do we have here? Another cape, skulls. I have recently found in my bits box. Uh, you maybe can't see it, but the silver chain there, much thinner. So I'll use that. Um, give this one a sword, I think. So yeah, loincloth. I think it's called um, little chain with skulls and sword. Okay, so Alpha Legion, they look quite cool. So yeah, sorry, Alpha Legion, the last one coming up next. Alpha Legion. You'll see better pictures of these. I'll put them on a little turntable so you'll get to see all of them. So yes, that was the Alpha Legion. So I really hope you've enjoyed this probably rather long video. Uh, just let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, as for the two 
what are the redacted legions just let me know in the comments if you have any cool custom ideas see that i can kit bash and if you haven't subscribed please do so don't forget to hit that notification bell you will never miss a thing if you would like to support the channel there's a couple of ways you can do that you can do that via patreon or now you can choose to buy me a coffee instead okay guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed stay safe and keep on crafting Thank you.